Good morning, New Eden. Today is February 4th, 2024, and this is the Federation Frontline Report. I'm your host, Frozen Fallout, and my co-host today, I have two really awesome, really cool guys here. We got uh, Night Flyer. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic, and we will talk a lot more about that in a little while. And, uh, Samson, what are you up to these days? You killing shit? I'm very tired, Frozen. <laughs> From all the murder? Well, uh, good morning, New Eden. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just, I, dude, so many fleets, back-to-back -back fleets, fleets till three in the morning, fleets, fleets at three in the morning, um, like, for the past, like, three days straight <laughs> for me so yeah good stuff lots of stuff to talk about though yeah so i think we're, we're going to be going kind of over that um so one of the things that we're going to do here is kind of go over what's been going on this week um i think we'll start off here by going over kind of a little bit of uh the news about what's kind of happening um some of the really big uh highlights of the last week which is one of them is the incursion um, the, or the insurg, or, uh, what's it called, uh, a... Insurgency? Insurgency, sorry, not an incursion, an insurgency, um, into Galente space happened recently, um, and it was down over in the, uh, Murathan kind of area, right? Um... Uleta. Uleta, Lowe's, Melmanuel, Murathan, Castal... Like, um, I believe, like, it, it didn't, I don't know how far it spread. It did spread, I know it got over to, like, the Valor area to a certain degree. Um, because I got some notifications when I was flying through that. Um, but, uh, this is the first insurgency that, uh, we have won, um, anybody has won the first fob to be destroyed by the so it's it's reset now it's going to be somewhere else um so that doesn't give us any information but basically so this this happened right in our backyard the galente said we're going to go strong into it and um yeah we were able to actually win an in, uh, insurgency so I, I know that I didn't participate a whole bunch, but I did participate a good amount, and I know that um, one of the things that's kind of amazing is that we hold the uh, Liette and uh, Boon still at this time, even with dealing with the insurgency in our space. So we, we've been kicking some major ass. So I went out and I did some them killing um in the very beginning and doing um fleets the one thing that was really fun about these i don't know if you guys got to do any of these um but the i really like the um save the orca missions that you can do the mining ops the mining op yep i did not participate in any of those i heard a lot about of them uh, a lot about them and I was in a fleet that was going to mess with them, but we never got around to it. We were doing other stuff. I don't remember that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've done I've yeah. done some with my alts. Uh, one of my alts, um, Rushlock, was working with uh, a guy, and I don't know. It was kind of fun. I think, yeah. But yeah, we just took out a bunch of Hecates, or you could do them in really like Raelian eyes. And you just go in, you kill wave after wave of cruiser NPCs. You don't. I think you. I think you were on one Samson because you don't kill the 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 rat or the um, the frigates. You, oh yeah, and I was because I didn't know. Yeah, I remember yeah, I that you that were on that. like one of them. Um, but yeah, you kill the. You just kill the cruisers, and the battle cruisers, and the battleships. It's really quick, really easy for you to do that, and um, that was really awesome. As uh, like you go in, it's you do it really, you know, it takes like three to five minutes. If you have like ten people, you can just alpha off all of the rats with a long range boat. Um, you know, it can't be super long range. I think you have to be within like eighty kilometers in order to get claim on the. Uh, 
on the LP for it, but it's really fast and it's like 50,000 LP or something like that uh, for up to 10 people. So 500,000 LP that can be distributed out between 10 people or more. Um, so that was really, really fun to kind of go around and do that. It was really brought a lot of progression. Um, and, uh, it was a quick activity that kind of respawned that you could kind of just run around and, and do a little bit of flexing, but then you could go do these, these sites and make good progression in suppression by, by doing it, make some good LP and kind of stay active. So I thought it was, uh, a lot of fun to be able to go do those. So there was a benefit. And I think uh, Night Flyer is having a little bit of, bit of issues. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's having he's te back. technical difficulties. Uh, I don't... Camera's not working. Yeah, it's and again I, I pulled it up, um, and uh, it says it's working. Discord's just not recognizing it, but it did for a while. Do uh, Gal Mill pilots make LP by running Garista plexes? Yes, yes we do. Absolutely. Um, we make pretty decent LP off of it. Not as... Uh, or it's, we it's also get it from doing those... Nice. Doing those ops and stuff, right? The, the yep. Mining op. The mining op, you get like 50,000 LP for um, up to 10 people. There's five person and one person sites uh, in Garista space. Mm-hmm. It is Gal Mill LP that you get. So the LP is not... I wish that I could get Garista LP. That would be kind of cool, but also really weird. Yeah, you have because to be we're a Garista. Finding the Garista. So even though we're not really incentivized to do it, we, we were able to, to pull it off. We were incentivized a lot by PvP. There was a lot of PvP happening in the area. Um, the one thing that I can say that I kind of... It's it, it adds like a different element that I kind of like to avoid to a certain degree, which is that the NPCs in level five corruption will fucking gank your ass. Like um, we <clears throat> yeah. ran into some of uh, some problems when we were doing our Spectre fleet. Actually, we were over in the uh, over in uh, the Angel Cartel uh, Mimitar Amar War Zone. We had some stuff that happened, so um, some people are getting attacked, and um, you know, if, if you're if you have anybody that's in your fleet that's Edencom uh, or not Edencom, but Angel, you know, Krista. Right. You have to click. You have to oh, click on them. Yep, I can click on them now. All right. Okay, you're the main spotlight now. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. And now my color is on. Now you. Hey, Eve Myth, how's it going? Um, you know, old guys in technology. So. There we go. Yeah. Well, but that's okay. We've, we've got you. Um, so any thoughts uh, that you guys have on the incursion? And what, what did you kind of do inside of the incursion? Because that was about the all I just did, you know, running around. We killed some... I think we killed a marauder. We did kill a marauder. And you were with, I think, uh, Gwen, you were with me on that that marauder kill uh because i remember you being like oh well oh, it the was varger. Worth it. Or, yeah yeah the varger. Yeah, yeah we killed a varger yeah, yeah correct yeah and i was in a, a blaster hecate blaster and hecate. A, yep. a macarial there was a macarial on the field on our side and i out dps the macarial for top damage on a varger so yeah and and it was like i was invisible because i'm a filthy gate camper and no one wants to see that <laughs> it was it was uh it was interesting because you had, um you had brought uh blaster and we were all in rails so i was like i don't yeah, know if this I is had. gonna work out like i, got, I was like I was, i'm just I, like a varger yes i'm going to I'm get right a, up in its face and just smash it with my blaster until you die right, right? And i didn't even didn't die. die didn't die so thank you shot he was too busy he probably didn't realize that i was doing so much damage yep i like um, that red I think there were some other scuffles that I got into. Um, 
and you know kind of messed around with in the the beginning of the insurgency but uh this went by pretty quickly it was basically you know like what five days that this has been going on since mm -hmm. monday or something like that um maybe no it started on the weekend i think right because that's when um this that's when the kill you. this kill happened when did that uh when that barber uh, kill happen Varger kill happened on the 28th um, at 2300 19 hours. So that was um, last Sunday. Okay. Yeah, so it's been a week. Yeah, so it started last weekend. Yeah, so it's been a week. Um, started last weekend. Things uh, went, you know, uh, really well for the Galente right away off the bat. We were, you know, building up suppression. Um, and then. I didn't really do anything on it. We didn't do anything on Wednesday night, right, for it. No. And then, um, so I didn't really experience much more of it because I, unfortunately, was um, pre-set up to do other things for uh, the time periods that things were going on for the FOB. Uh, like, the, when the FOB came out, I, I believe I was at work. Uh, when you when you could hit it the first time, and the second time when you could destroy it, I was um, I went to my first yoga class, and it was aerial yoga. It was really kind of cool, um, you know. Aerial and, yoga. Yeah, so it's like you've got like these silk ropes that come down to make like almost like a swing, and you use it to like you know flip upside down. So you're starting down your exotic and, dancing career. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I ex Check. absolutely. You know, I, I'm gonna make my OnlyFans page, and uh, you, you know, know, it's gonna be great. Um, so I couldn't make it because, like, I had told them, because my wife's really into yoga. She's becoming a yoga teacher, and she really wants Yogi. to like do yoga stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll I'll come to my first class and check this out. I couldn't be like, no, there's this like base station like she under she came to eve vegas but i still couldn't be like there's a space station that i need to blow mm -hmm. up i mean she'd probably be like oh disappointed like but not really like hate me over but I, there would be enough that i would i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to make her sad i also wanted to check it out too see what this yoga stuff it was it was fun highly suggest checking yeah. it out if you want to become yeah, I mean, a stripper I'll get a couple times. Yeah, my wife likes it. Um, she doesn't get to go enough. Um, but uh, she made me go with her one time. And I don't know. I enjoyed it. I liked it. But uh, one of my martial arts instructors was also big into yoga. So he would always incorporate that in his warm-ups and workouts and stuff. Yeah, it's really good stretching for that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, good way to center your mind, too. So, in any case, though, um, what what a, did anybody else have any special experience at all with this? Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. No, don't. What? No. Root? No, I'm joking. Go ahead. No. But don't do it. No, do it. Maybe. Yeah. I have the I have the uh, battle report up for the FOB fight. So. Um, yeah, I was able to join the FOB fight. Um, uh, Alec and, and the guys formed up network to come with Senate and a bunch of other people. And I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of people <clears throat> on this. So what day was here. this on? This was on Saturday. Yeah, this was on uh, Saturday U.S. time zone, right? Uh, and Saturday, also technically Saturday. EU time zone, because yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, 1700, it 1700, so 5 o'clock p.m. EU time zone. But yeah, it was sedition and a lot, a lot of people here, as you can see. What was the number? Uh, so 187 on our side, if you go all the way to the top. Mm. Um, 187 on our side. That might be some. And 145 might... on their side. There might be a um, a bit of a discrepancy there too because uh, there were about 150 plus in fleet, so I don't know. I think maybe some people, some other fleets were helping, 
like the, the Kaldari did show up and they were um in a small like I think they were Bifrost or something like that and they um they were shooting the fob too but then we killed them uh but yeah so <clears throat> we have here uh, a pretty fun fight with uh, on our side losing 41 ships um, and 2.6 billion isk with an efficiency of 86.4% and on their side them losing 113 ships with 16.7 billion in losses with a 13.6 efficiency and I'm going to say right now a big part of that was like this legion right here this legion is worth over a billion <clears throat> and um there was a, a a lot of zealots. Hold on, let me just let me just get past. Yeah, so the there's zealots. like a list of. I'm just gonna keep scrolling. Just give up. me. Yep. And then uh, there was a. I don't know if I can find no more zealots. Okay, more, more zealots. A Zarmazad, yes. We got a Zarmazad. We got two. I, I was only on one of these kills, but the one that I was on was worth like 1.6 billion. Um, but yeah, it was a lot. And then the ABA guys came in with, with the uh, ventures. And I guess they got popped. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, and a lot of extra little stuff just going on here. But we were... Um, yeah, it looked like a van depart brought like ventures and a bunch of small frigates and stuff like that. Yeah. To kind of... So it looks like you guys like very heavily outnumbered them with Sedition. And Sedition brought, against these zealots, what you guys brought... Uh, CFIs. CFIs. Look at all them so CFIs. Was... Oh, there I am right there. <clears throat> yeah, there was a lot like... We didn't lose, but like one or two CFIs. There's one CFI lost. Let's see. Uh, still, still one CFI loss. Let's see. But two, two. That's it. We lost two CFIs. <laughs> I mean, we lost a bunch of other stuff, but like the CFIs were just dominating the field. But yeah, that was a, that was a fun. Um, before and then oh we also caught a monitor killed killed a monitor oh yeah yep i remember seeing that <clears throat> that was what like a billionist kill wasn't it no nah, it was like 700 what go and click on it and see what's what's the well, you're right i think you're right it's like seven 624 624 because you can't really like fit that. much on them and because <laughs> there's not very many slots but yeah it was random It came on the field with a. Um, so did they have logi? Region. Like, what was their logi? Zarmasods. Two. They had, they had uh, two Zarmasods. They had. Well, they might have had more than that. Let's see. <clears throat> I guess he only two killed Zarms. two of them, but they only killed two. But um, yeah, I only see two Zarms in the. So there are probably maybe more. I don't know. Yeah, and not seeing, like, you know, the traditional. Yeah, they, they, had, they, they had so many zealots, and I guess maybe they were just hoping that their um, resists and their ADCs would keep them alive or something. For how long? I mean, even against, like, unless you have Logi holding you down, you know, like, and, and healing you up, like. Oh, they, they, they had guardians. I forget. Oh, they saw, there, okay, were, they had... there were some guardians. Uh, okay. Way down at the bottom. Let me see here. I remember okay. guardians now. Oh lord, I went too far down. Question marks. I remember killing at least one or two guardians. Uh, so if they had a, not, they they had guardians, then okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, there they are. There's two guardians being shot, killed right here. Okay. So if they had, you know, four I believe they or five, definitely had more. Oh, there's yeah. an og. Well, okay, so, and then you can start outlining through them, you know, after you take oh, we had a couple a, of them. Okay, we had so. a ton of scythes and stuff. You we went exactly as well, okay. <clears throat> um, right. Cool, yeah, so, so they brought the fight. Uh, they were really outnumbered, though, it looks like. Um, a little bit. And uh, we did. you did have to focus in on killing that... Uh, Bob and keeping that down, but drones at, at your size should be able to do that. So. Yeah, we just had the drones doing, um, Sedition had the drones just attacking the fob, and we just kept fighting the, um, 
uh, fleets. You guys well, lose anything drones. big on your side? Were they able to like uh, capture a prize before? Uh... I mean, you guys did uh, lose two point six billion. So, is there anything? There's one tactical destroyer, a battle cruiser, stealth bomber. Why was that stealth? Oh, there's four stealth bombers. Yeah. Um, well, we, yeah, we lost a, a force recon, but there's nothing like no, huge, like no, not compared to like, like a billion. They get the, their logistics losses because of those arms are three point three billion, <laughs> and all the all twenty six. There were twenty six zealots, and those were seven point eight billion. Oh, no, so twenty six oh, yeah, zealots yeah. that died. Yeah, that one legion that died, but I don't think. So the legion, the legion, the the monitor, and something else is a Phobos maybe, or something. I don't know. <clears throat> the, these guys, I think these guys at the top, we were like separate, coming into like mess with us or something after the initial fight, and they got murdered, <laughs> like hard. So yeah, so uh, Nightfire, did you have anything that you uh, did through throughout the insurgency here? Um, I went to the hobby store and I uh, picked up some paint, which is why I wasn't at this, uh, <laughs> at this fight. I actually got the ping. I was in my my truck uh, pulling into the parking lot, and so I missed it. But I did get some uh, paints and some nice little grasses so I can do my bases. So, that'd be... but no, nice. as far as the search, um, uh, I, I think I flew in a couple of times when Kirk had a, a fleet out. Um, I, I thought they were really going strong. I didn't know what I was doing. All week long, I they had like people out. I needed someone to hold my hand through and tell me how, what to do, and um, they were just busy, so I just kind of stood around, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back to Hayden, you know, try to kill stuff. So I like to think I support it from the back end. So. <laughs> I kept. I tried to keep the the front lines clear while they were doing. Well, that that, that was another big thing that needed to be done. There needed to be like still people doing faction warfare stuff on the front lines because you know right now things are basically well, this is it, man. Like it's a Boon Fliet, Devon Onasikin. The, these are the front lines. That's all that's left. That really matters. Everything else, uh, you. We did see that there was uh, a little have have uh, have is actually under attack, so there might be a new front line that opens up over here. Um, in the next month, because it takes forever to to grind these down. Seventy percent is even. That's impressive, but that's still a long ways away. Um, there just isn't enough bonds that happen in Hebris, so um yeah but fleet and a boon are still just popping i mean even the current schedule 22 ships in the last hour and fleet at 34 and a boon in the last hour so there's still a lot of killing going on in those two systems alone yeah so, so if you're that's looking for activity you know we don't have to go far <laughs> yeah each one of those systems is filled with stuff uh we just went out and did some uh, little traps and stuff like that that we set up out there. Um, pirates and, uh, you know, Keldari are out and about in a boon and Onisikin pretty strong. I think we should come to a consensus. Are we going to call it a boon or a boon A? A lot of people it's call a it a boon A now, and I think it's starting to catch on. I think it's a joke. That's why the people are calling it that way. There's one person that said it. He was like the emperor of Spain or something, and now everybody has a lisp. Because no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. I'm going to vote neutral on this <laughs> and say... I say a boon because it's quicker. I'm going to start saying a boon. And I'm going to say it like that every time. A, a boon. boon. Everybody align um, a boon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the front line is, is super important. So... Other than the uh, insurgency, um, do we have any other major news items that have happened this week? I know that uh, they wrapped up the another round of... Uh, oh, shoot. What's the game? Um, Sport Vanguard. Uh, oh, Vanguard. 
that I did play again. So Rocket League. Except that's good. <laughs> that was like last course, weekend, like, right? Yeah, and it keeps coming out on the weekend I work. So I work every other weekend, and it's just lining up with that. So um, I, I did I it the first play for time. a few hours. I got a couple of kills, but mostly got killed. <laughs> some them some old man reflexes and FPSs. I feel you. Yeah, no, it's just the keyboard action. Like you know, I played a lot of Call of Duty and Halo, and uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. The keyword but, was uh, played. Was played, yeah. Since I started Eve, it's COVID. I blame COVID for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I got into Eve. And yeah, I just used to using a controller. So the whole whatever. Um, oh, mouse keyboard and keyboard. And you're not yeah, you're not familiar with it. Yeah. No, that's why I suck at Eve too. I just, uh, it's a mouse and keyboard ooh, game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, you know, I bought uh, our buddy Chaos. And, uh, you know, it's because uh, they actually put out the, the rankings. And I think he's... Uh, what, number four or five? Uh, the last pay thing? Like he had like 800 kills or something. Wow, nice. Oh, yeah. He, and he's really good at that. So not only did he play it for like three days straight, but he uh, he's, he's really good. So he's fun to watch. And uh, Zanus. Zanus was playing for a little bit. He did uh, a quite a long stream on it. He's he's pretty good, too. So, But I don't think he made the top top ten. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be very good at that game. I jumped in and played around it with it a little bit. I'm not very good at first-person shooters. I'm okay. Like you know, I've, I've, against a bunch of amateurs, I can probably get some stuff done. But it seems like I am like just going to get wasted every time that I come so, out there. But I haven't done like what, the team combat stuff yet. Right? Yeah, and you really need to do the team combat stuff. Yeah, okay, team, so like yeah. one of the one of the things with these types of games because I am a bit of a I have a lot of experience with this specific style of game because I play Hunt Showdown which is much like Escape from Tarkov which is much mm -hmm. like uh, I still uh, Vanguard and so um, with the three players it's a bit more fun um, and, and if you're doing random people you do have in-game comms so that's nice but I think it's proximity I'm not certain on that it's, I don't think it's proximity the one I or at least the not, original okay so beta. it's just in-game comms it's yeah in -game it's in-game comms, comms that are uh, the one thing I, that I found was interesting was, was forced it was like if you've got a yes mic, it was I definitely know. forced and it was it, that, that was a little awkward at first but I'm used to that because it's similar in, in like Hunt and other games but um so like I guess what I'm saying is like when we go because the three of us are gonna have to, right? The Federation Frontline is gonna have to do this at some point. Yes, oh, as yeah. an event. Yeah, this we'll is go three, in. We'll be a three team. People, right? We'll be, you know, we'll be our like... fire team, and um, I'm just gonna have to fucking carry your asses. Yeah, the whole like. time, the whole time. <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll, I... we'll get to have to. De we'll have to deploy for sure. That's and what got me frustrated yet. with the game is I couldn't get my comms to work. So could hear everybody mm. fine but my mic would not work i tried resetting i yeah. tried to, to go in and settle the reset defaults and there wasn't a, um, a just lot couldn't to get it. to work so i'm like all right well i can listen to my team and i can do what they're saying but i can't say hey i got you know over here whatever so most of the time it was just me going i got him i got him i, got him. <laughs> I killed him Kill this guy over there i got him <laughs> so that frustrated me so i just started doing some speed runs so i was just trying to see if i could run from one side of the map to the other without getting killed so and the answer was no. <laughs> yeah, no. Pop, 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 but, yeah, you hit the uh, you hit a stream or something, or uh, one of the the puddles, the acid puddle or the goo puddle, and it just you either have That'll to kill you. track all the way around, or you just get stuck. And the second you're stuck in there, you get killed. Mm -hmm. And it, pretty much the the biggest thing in all FPS is, is as soon as you stop moving, you die, unless you have really good cover, and even then, someone might see you, like. You have to be moving all the time, strafing left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, 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 right, zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> Not just left, right, left, right, left, right, because they're gonna see the pattern and shoot you anyway. Um, but uh, it's uh, yeah, that, it's fun. Is that the same as A B A B up down up down, left right? Yeah, the A B A no. start no. the contra. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> left start. But I'm liking right. it. Um, I think the game's progressing. It was very smooth. I felt the gun action was. A lot better this go around than the previous so i'm looking forward to see what happens uh i think what the next one's the 22nd they come out of that sounds right to me maybe we'll try to get in on it again yeah it's like the the uh yeah 22nd or 23rd or something like that 
Let's verify that. Uh, where can I verify? That? Oh, or twenty third, yeah, twenty third would be the Friday, so it's probably that. Well, uh, next event is in seventeen days, twelve hours, twenty four minutes, fifty three <laughs> seconds, fifty two seconds, how many? How seconds, many nanoseconds? Give me the star date. <laughs> um, but yeah, so February 22nd. Alright. Probably so. do work that weekend too, so great. But I'm working days, so that'll be nice. Well, but once it's, once it's, I mean, if we don't get to do it like together in the events, we, we, when it's live, we can. So, what, what, one thing that I want to, I want to do some, some, uh, some, put on the tinfoil hat, um, like, uh, speculation about this game um my prediction is that they're going to go free to play with it but beta is going to be restricted to <clears throat> having an eve account but that they they have to go free to play right like there's no way to can you guys yeah, think like, of any way to get not, into this we're... market Without if we're play. already paying, if we're already paying for an account, I'm I'm not gonna spend spend extra for an account with Vanguard probably. You know well, I mean? they're not gonna so, they're not gonna definite. Well, so they might link it, and they've already linked it to having an account in Eve, right? But there's got to yeah. be a free to play version, at, or is there there has to be like an advantage to being, you know, like maybe monthly credits or something like that that you would get, um, or you know, there's login rewards, login games. rewards, special stuff that you can like. Uh, so, I'll, um, e or Star Trek Online has like the the lifetime subscription that you can get that gets you like every month you get like you know these special like coins that you can only get if you pay for it. No, you only have to pay like a hundred dollars, or well, that's what I as long as as, as it. long as it's cosmetic, um, and it doesn't affect uh, your like superiority in the game like that's a big thing with balance in fps is you can't be giving people better weapons than people that can't afford the not free to play so it, it's got to be like progression or or like cosmetic based um, like additions if you if you're paying for it yeah <laughs> so well there's i mean there is money because money doesn't equate that because that's what eve does eve blurs the line on that where it's like yes you but fps get... is different if you put everybody in there with a gun and they all have the same gun or there's the same set of guns that's one thing but then if you put one guy in there that i spent 100 plex and now i have a rocket launcher that nobody else has that's not cool you, you can't do that in FPSs. That's ter terribly unbalanced. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just no. I don't that. think that they're going to. They're just going to make it easier for you to lose, like when you die and you have the equipment that you have. Like it's, I imagine that they're going to eventually. Like right now, there is no equipment or anything, right? There is no. Hmm. You have some equipment. You have some items and stuff like that, like uh, different ammos. And yeah, you're like crafting shit things. in you can craft the game stuff. as it's yeah. happening. Yeah. But you start naked, you know, no matter what, no matter how rich you are, right? Yeah, we still have a gun. Right. Anyway, so... Yeah, as yeah, soon I mean, as you can craft a golden, a golden bullet, then that would be the problem. Yeah. So, same thing with golden the, gun. Like, but again, I think they're smart enough to know that that's what will kill the game. So. But I, I do... I One thing is that if... I like the idea of it being tied to the EVE account, but... One of the things that I've encountered when I've kind of talked to other people about this game is that they're like, oh, well, I would never play subscribe Eve. to Eve in order to play this game. Like, yeah, And I wouldn't yeah. subscribe, unless the shooter is ungodly great, I wouldn't subscribe to a shooter, especially if that's needed to be done even for me to play it at all. Yeah, um, no, it should, it should probably be some kind of free-to-play. So yeah, there's. I'm interested to see what happens with with uh, because I think that that's going to be required. Anyway, it's kind of moving on here. Uh, I think we wanted to also take a look at uh, what we what what happened this last week with the Federation Frontline. Um, so Gwen, I know that you caught some crazy shit on Gate this week. So, so starting with Monday, is there anything that happened on Monday for the Federation Frontline? What's Report the, the corporation Mon Mon here. Monday. 
What? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where that. What What's the date? Uh, the very top is where the yeah. I think we're gonna have to go <clears throat> back at least four pages, probably, of kills that we've got here. We've got some yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta go back because I gotta go back before the um. The fob fight. And so here we go. Yeah, so you want to be looking for um, basically everything that happened from the 29th. Here the 29th is Monday. Alright, so... Oh, wow. Just do... Yeah, so it's this one. It's this one. Alright, so starting here with this vigil, um, I, did, I ran a Spectre Abazon gate camp. So this was February. Um, this was on uh, Friday? Thursday night. Yeah, we want to go Thursday. back. We want to go back a little bit farther though, so because we want to go to the 29th of, which is Monday, start at the what beginning. Happened on, what happened on Monday? I don't think anything. I, I thought that you caught some stuff on Monday. A sec. Uh, hold on. I think that's 29th? the 29th. Yep. All right, I gotta go one more page. Jesus. No, that's right there. There's nothing in the 29th. Okay. So, 28th did we have... So, that was Monday. And then <clears throat> Tuesday... The 28th, nothing. 30th. Um, I was just doing some gate camping locally. I caught... Um, in a, a blue, No, in Uvangir. And I don't know... What these kills are here. So this would be Monday, right? <clears throat> this is Gwendovic, uh Or this was... Uh... No, now we're into um, the 31st. This is so this is the, the one that I wanted Wednesday, to talk about. Wednesday. Wednesday. You killed a... Uh, a Raven Navy Raven issue. Raven issue. Yeah, so give me the story of this Raven Navy issue that you soloed. So this guy here... I'll open him up in the... Uh, new window. <clears throat> he, uh... This group here, the Studs Alliance, they're like a new training corp, and they've started to bring some stuff into Yvangir. And he showed up onto the gate, well, him and his buddies, or he's a multi-boxer, I don't know. There was a Drake and a Drake Navy, they showed up on my gate. And I was like, okay, I cannot take that. Even if they're shit fit, I can't take that with my single Gnosis DPS. It's not gonna happen. So... I was like, okay, I'm going to switch this out. So I, I switched my alt into a Og Navy, and I waited on the gate. When they came through, they did not engage. So I was sad, sad face, because I couldn't catch up with the Og Navy. I was just hoping they were coming for me. That's what I felt, that they were coming for me. You know, they're sitting on that gate forever. Um, but nope, it turns out this Raven Navy undocks with from within Yvangir. So logs on and undocks and goes to do a site. And in that site, he's being guarded by, or they're just working together with the Drake and the Drake Navy. So I scanned him down, and I warped in there, and I jumped my uh, um, my Og Navy inside, and the Raven was right next to it when I came in. So I just tackled it, and the Drake and the and the Navy were out uh, 40, 30, 40 kilometers, and and I caught. I caught it and it starts shooting me. I did a lot of damage with just the Og Navy alone, but I wasn't going to fuck around, so I undocked my Varger. <laughs> and I just threw that in there and just like murdered the Raven Navy in within seconds. And then I started shooting the um the Drakes, but I couldn't get I couldn't get a um get a point, a, a point on on either of them because they were too far away to begin with and they weren't stupid enough to come close. Uh, I did knock down one entire all of their shields with the Varg though at range, so like they were like, "Okay, we're leaving now." <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's what happened there. Um, it was kind of shit fit. Um, it's just Tech One cruise missiles, so it's PVP, <laughs> PVE. Sorry, PVE. Very PVE, you know. But but it was a great little catch there. Um, then you killed the Gila, right? That was uh... yeah. So like, then Maniac came out, and we're sitting on the gate, and the Gila comes through. Um, so that was nice. Nothing too fancy though. No, no. Another uh, PVE fit there. Yeah, the Gila's are almost always. Um, and then there was Wednesday night where we got together. Um, looks like we killed like a few. Uh, 
Uh, we did get a stabber fleet issue, which was good. A stabber, uh, a, a thrasher fleet issue. The harpy. I know that we went out and we got uh, we got fights. We we took some losses, but we got some fights. Yeah, we had some time. good fights, um, and it was fun. Uh, I think the losses we took were apparently not in our corp, so apparently not. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, we'll go to, to the, the next, next day. Yeah. So we do bit. So yeah, then we. Oh yeah, we caught that Arazu. With oh, that. that's right. And, and there was, and then we lost. We, yeah, we lost um, a few. Uh, oh yeah, we were using um, thrashers. Right, and we just wanted to go around and fight war targets with thrashers, and, and this yeah, was a, that. this was a neutral uh -huh. Arazu worth two point uh, two hundred and twenty four oh, million. I wasn't F seeing that, was I? Were you? Were you... Uh, you were. I just gave oh, the suggestion that when you landed on, because we shot him and we warped away, and I was like, we should have a limited engagement. We've we've. We've cleared eight yes, guns for that's him. right. We shot so we we shot the Arazu um, and then warped off. And my brain wasn't thinking about the fact that if you warp back, your engagement is gone. So then we we went warped back and we killed it because he was Sino. He was stuck. He was yeah. He was he was a Sino. He was Sinoing in shit. And we made the locals angry. <laughs> His like all the cow cow mills yeah, it was started like... to up. Five seconds after we killed him, like they were just there they, they were all over the gate. They were all over everything. And yeah, like, and then I believe we went back to gate camping in Yvangir. That's what all this. Yeah, is we right killed here. some Yvangir stuff, which was all small. Nothing we fancy. got the ner uh, yeah, Nearest, like a haul, a hauler. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then then you went. What, and you then went I Amazon. did my my first gate, my first Spectre gate camp in a while. I haven't haven't done one in um, a month or two, so we started up and um, when we first started, I'm trying to remember because like, it's, I'm still not even like halfway through everything. So I think um, I was with you about... on this because this was Thursday night, right? So <clears throat> yes, um, you said was... you said you would be able to join for about an hour, yep. um, and and I was like, okay, cool. Can you be my secondary just in case? Because I'm you know there might be a thing. Um, and my wife was gonna gonna be end up calling me like right in the middle of the camp. Probably. Right, so, so you I wanted like, me So to... I was like, you need, I need you to be able to take over. And I was so going anyways, to go start... play Stellaris after this, so I was going to leave yeah. in one hour. So I had like a one yeah. hour to like help you with And this. then we, so a couple of things came through. We, we caught some Vigil, Helios, Arbitrator, some shuttles, because we had Dagon, the, the dude that lives inside the server, um, being our insta-locker. So I was really happy about that. Thank you. Shout out to him. And then we caught a mining Praxis. Yes. So this was okay. So I kind of, there's a story behind this that I want to say, and I want to apologize. So um, can, can you list off the the items that this this praxis that came into us? What what it, what did this praxis have on it here? It was loaded with um, six uh, EPS Gaussian scoped mining lasers. I don't know what these are because they're just glitching out. Um, it was shield tanked. It has looks like a maybe a burst jammer. Yeah, burst jammer. Um, Reinforced oh, those are bulkheads. bulkheads. That's right. It was it was a it was um, it was very much hull tanked. And and bro in 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 uh, local was like, I just want to mine. <laughs> and we were blowing his ass up. I was like, well, let's shoot him. So the, what happened was um, I saw this guy because I had my alt uh, on the other side. Um, uh, in high tech, and this guy goes, "Hey, did anybody? Ch does anybody know if Amazon is clear?" And I thought about it for a little bit, and I was like, "I, hey, shouldn't, hey, I hey. shouldn't say anything because then, then bad. that'll that'll like tip them off that there is somebody, like somebody is watching." And yeah, even if I say no, it it'll like confirm that you know, don't do it mm -hmm. type kind of thing. But I was like, "But he might be stupid." And he might trust me <laughs> when he has no reason to trust me. Don't ever trust Frozen. And I said it was it was clear a few minutes ago. And since <laughs> since few is an arbitrary number, you know, you can get away with a, it. A while it ago, neutral. Eventually, there was a point not too long ago because this was like right at the beginning of the gate camp, basically, like maybe twenty minutes in. So like few is. You know, really, 
stretching it. Okay, I'm I'm an asshole, and I told him that <laughs> the, the, the gate was clear, and he jumped. And he jumped. And I was, that was like, beautiful. I was like, really and then he, good. and then he was at local, like, I just want to buy. It. And then we but, blew him up. We were like, whoa. We really remember, just remember to that. Remember, remember that. Okay, remember that. Yes. We're gonna continue here. Right. And um, so then, uh, I. So then we um. Let's see. It got things got interesting. Okay, so right, right, right before this. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'll click on this. this. That'll work. All of a sudden, this guy, Makaga Catello, uh, local Abazon, Abazonians. I'm going to call them Abazonians. Yeah, Abazonians. He dropped, he warps, he warps the fucking um, Phoenix Navy onto my gate. It's my gate because I was running the fleet at the time. It's the only time Abazon is my gate because I'm running the fleet. And um, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we warped off and he caught like the Bailgorn or something. I think we had we had something kind of big on the gate, but then he was able to jump through in the high sec and get out, I guess. Presumably. I didn't get any lost mails. So um I I was like, what the what do we do? I was like, we, we need to do you want to rage ping? Let's rage ping. And I was like, I just messaged like I don't know like how to rage ping or anything. So I just messaged Varian directly and said, Hey, there's a PNI sitting on the gate. Here's his name and he wants to fight. He's engaged and we're holding him. So I, this is why I lost my stiletto to hold to be one of the people that was holding him there while he was engaging us, <clears throat> and he managed to uh, kill me. Um, but as you can see here, what's going on? Why is the guy in the practice that we killed earlier burst jamming on this uh, stiletto? Um, so sure enough, he came back. He came back, mining Chad during the phoenix debacle and got blown up again a second time with the same and exact was, fit like with the same exact fit so i frozen i don't really think you should feel guilty for telling him it was clear he I, either yeah. knew he, especially the second time he knew what was going on but yeah two men i love that we were in the middle of I, killing a dread and we were just like virian was like why the fuck is there a praxis kill it and we were like we know that praxis <laughs> like, that's <the> <laughs> we just praxis. killed it earlier He's like, just fucking kill it like whatever Who yeah cares? And, and so at, at, at that at that point then um at virian i think oh well, maybe it was right after that it was right after that we're not I, I keep forgetting how much went on because at that point i think we killed i don't know if it was on the second mining chat i don't remember but the point is uh, I think I had to take a phone call, but we had we had the the Phoenix was tackled and we had multiple people logging in. I think we got like seventy or eighty people in the U.S. time zone to come in and start fighting this Phoenix. Meanwhile, I was uh, chatting with my wife on the phone because she's abroad. And um, when I came back, we're still fighting <laughs> the Phoenix, and now a nag is on field <laughs> with the Phoenix. So Virian, I had Virian take over uh, because I had to, uh, I was like, I have to take this call. So like Virian's going to take over and he took over and he, he FC'd it from there. But we got um, a, you can't hear that noise, can you? Yes, I can. Please don't. Oh, fuck. What is it? It's, it's a notification um, that I'm getting from this. I'm trying to get rid of it for you real quick. <laughs> All right. I'm like, it's what's a... my camera doing now? <laughs> Me too. I was like, I was like, what's going on here? What happened to my setup? That was a lot. So now I need to make sure that. Um, okay, yeah. Just my sister blowing up my phone as usual. Um, and so we eventually killed. As you can see, our numbers change like from 37 or whatever in the current gate camp all the way up to like, no, I didn't click on it like that. Uh, all the way up to like the 60s, killing this 70s, um, 60s, 70s, killing these two. Phoenix Navy and a nag with a successful rage ping. Um, and during the fight, we caught an Akater, uh that was almost... Yeah, it was trying dead. to refill the... Uh, yeah. Or it did refill or so something happened. Yeah, man, it made it refill uh, boosters or something to the... Um, man, that the, thing was like trip. taking like 60, 70 people though for... This Phoenix, ever, yeah. It, like... it took 7.4 million damage. <laughs> is how much it took. 
That's a lot. Now you have <laughs> now you have a ten billion isk pit that you can use in order to fight <laughs> some people. Like he didn't. Uh, can you check his kill board real quick? I wonder what. Uh... Yeah, I did a hundred thousand in my Abaddon, and, and I you were came late. In late. Yeah. Uh, check his kill board. This guy's these guys are local Abazonians, so they get a lot of I'm shit. I'm just wondering kill did he shit. kill a bunch or what did he kill during that fight? Yeah, he took it looks like he took out a Gnosis. Uh mm, I don't this Praxis, maybe uh Brutix. Is, is that the same day? This is right here. This is because the Nag's floss is right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this this is, well fuck. So he got a stiletto, a Hugin, a Gnosis, a Praxis, and a Brutix. But that's nothing compared to. Wait, yeah. no, that's not a Nag. No, no, no. This is this is not a Nag. I'm sorry. This this is a. Uh, no, this that's is a tornado. A tornado. Uh, here we that's go. The, Here's yeah, the Phoenix yeah, loss. Yeah. So yeah, no, it was a uh, Eni, Kiki, Hurricane, Exec, a Drek. Nothing terribly expensive. The Drek is the most expensive thing, and it's only three hundred. Oh, not even three hundred million. So. Uh, ten point eight six billion. I think we came out on top. Yeah, a little bit. No, but he 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 did kill. So if you want to try and you can kill some things, but you just you're gonna lose a lot more risk. And if we didn't have Lachi, uh, and, and he also got my stiletto. He would have he would have been able to pull. Or he would have been able to kill a lot. Like, yeah, we had we had pretty solid Lachi, and we had a, a lot of numbers. Um, but yeah, that pretty much was that was that gate camp. Then I stayed up uh, later than I should have and went on a um, an ESS robbing bank robbing with uh, Kaiser, another FC from Vector, and we got a couple of we we robbed like 800 mil from banks, and we got uh, two Ishtars and an Ock Navy and a decent capsule. Um, and those were nice little short fleet. And then, oh, and another Ishtar, so three Ishtars in a tractor unit. And then, um, I, I don't remember what this fleet was. It's starting to get blurry now. Um, I don't remember this stuff. This might have been, let's see. Oh, the Nurgle. I remember this now. Uh, ah, you, yes. Oh, this was your first. This was your first. Uh... This was Friday night when I uh, when we did. This was the beginning of our drunken fleet. drunken Rome, right? Not though. So it, yeah, the Nurgle was the beginning of the drunken Rome. So uh, not the beginning Wonder. exactly, because I think what was the uh, what was the Ospreys that died before that. No, this is this is um, Navy issue. something else. This is with uh, Kirk and a bunch of other ships. Ah, okay. This is looks like Mango. You went out and you got. Yeah, Mango's this. doing other shit. He's not paying attention to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's not. It was that. Uh, so it was. It was it like. Was, oh, was, I to because these aren't. Yeah, this is the Stabber fleet. Okay. Yeah, I I took out so to, to kind of preface this. I took out a uh, Spectre fleet. We went out with uh, like what, fifteen guys or so. What does it mm -hmm. say? Like you know, yeah, There's fourteen, 14 on the Nurgle four, kill. So yeah, fifteen, fourteen guys that we went out, um, and we, I think we got. Did we get the Vexer? Was that no? No, yeah, it no, starts oh, here no, that, on the no, Thrasher fleet. No, no, we definitely got the the Vexer. The Vexer is ours as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vexers, yeah. So that's where it starts. It starts in the Vexer. Yeah, so, so we, we caught a Vexer. Caught a Vexer. We were just kind of going around gate camping in Mimitar space. Um, caught a Vexer, caught a fleet, uh, Stabber fleet issue. And then we learned about this um, gang of, of people that were kind of gathered up. Um, I think we got maybe a little bit more than what's on our kill boards here, but. It didn't work out great for us. We pretty much whelped the whole fleet. But what did we catch? We catch this fucking Nurgle worth 351 million. Yeah, I, I burnt out every single one of my modules to keep that thing webbed down. <laughs> I had to burn. I had to I had to, to um, overheat um, my prop mod. My my not my new not my night. 
just the, the the point and the webs just so I could get get it on him and get him. What, uh, what expensive stuff did it have? Did it drop at all? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it dropped forty mil. Excuse me, which was just the disintegrator, really. But it did have um, a Good navy warp disruptor yep. and a uh, Republic fleet micro warp drive that worth a little bit. But it ended up being, um, yeah, three hundred and fifty-one million, which is not bad. That paid for the entire fleet, just about. Um, yeah, so because that's, and surprisingly, that's ten stabbers, almost. It. Right. So, and when we lost about like ten stabbers to that, mm-hmm. and surprisingly, and I find that this is rarer to happen when you have like a whole fleet well, um, that people are going to be like, "All right, let's go out and do that again." Um, and because, I mean, we did get the Nurgle, which I think boosted spirits quite a bit. But uh, we decided to go out again. Um, and every, almost everybody stayed, I think. Yeah, pretty much everybody stayed. And uh, we just handed out a bunch of ships again um, and went back out. And then we got into a fight with an Osprey Navy uh, fleet. Um, Osprey Navy issues. that uh, We got a few of those. And I think that the... Uh, so, yeah, it was... It's like two. Two, I and two. I think maybe even a couple more than that. We lost, like, a couple of people on that. Um, so we went out and reshipped again, um, and we found a uh, falcon that um, was uh, dinoing outside of a system, and we killed that, um, and this is where things kind of started going a little bit more... Uh, haywire for us and we ran into a marauder that just pretty much killed a good chunk of the fleet after that but, um, um, yeah so we tried for it we shouldn't have we needed like three times the numbers that we had to take on this marauder but uh, i was hoping that it was a dumb marauder it happens it, it was worth it but it was not a dumb marauder but it, it was, was still shot. fun like all, all we got a lot of, we got a lot of fun kills on that and that was but that was um that was your first one, but yes. wait, there's more. We're not done yet. <laughs> that was your first. Uh, yeah, so Saturday that was on week. Friday night at like midnight Central Time, like ten yeah, o'clock. Yeah, and then Saturday time. we went and for then like Saturday, three hours. Saturday morning happened, and that that was all this stuff which we already went over. That was the an insurgency. Um, so let me let me let me scroll past that. Oh Jesus, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. it's so many um, kills that you got that day, and I don't remember what these this must have been another specter fleet what, what is this oh, oh yeah. this was you yeah this, this was you you yeah, doing the, you were the, with uh virian you were with virian in uh um yeah laser the laser party. laser party and so i uh we got a few kills and i got killed pretty quickly um yeah, that does happen so, in really big fleets. but uh you know it it it, it, they, it went on for a long time and i wish that i just hadn't died right away in the beginning but it when you have that many numbers and i just was not quick enough on my uh broadcasts so um so and after then, that then round two this is the second stabber fleet starting here at this coercer as you can see much more successful a yeah, so we got a, a Vexer Navy issue that was worth three hundred million, an Omen Navy issue that was worth mm-hmm. uh, ninety six million, you know, Thrasher fleet issue, a bunch of small stuff, a Caracal, Kestrel, Imperial Navy. And then I finally Punisher. lost my Jack. <laughs> yeah, then yeah, we did have a little bit of a loss there. Um, and then that's Amazon. I think I lost. Uh, we but not not that bad like it was it was worth it because we killed so many things yeah we were you know well over like you know we were around like a half yeah. a billion isk in damage that we put out there um but that's when they they dumped that uh um brudix fleets on us they, like the five or six brudix oh yeah, on that fleet, yeah we, were, we just decided kind of not to around. yeah yeah there they are there's a couple brudixes in there that killed me I like this little jag though. This this is a fun fit for um, fast pointing on like so uh, you know what's it called roaming gate camps. Um, and then it was late at that point. It was already what like ten o'clock. Yeah. So PST? yeah, I, I did then, that one at then, eight o'clock, and we it was like ten eleven. O'clock. And then Frozen goes, "You should do another gate camp." And I was like, "Man, are you kidding me right now?" 
<laughs> so I called for another Amazon gate camp and um, something to note beforehand with all that the Phoenix Navy stuff. I, I, I reached out to Max because I wanted to say thank you. Shout outs to Max and all the locals. I, 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 I'm still not entirely sure. Uh, how many of them are alts and, and other people, but I, I know the names like EF, Max, and now this um, the guy in, in the, the Phoenix, which was Maga... Mag, fuck. Hold on. I should have left that um, open. I'll just do this. Because all I have to do is go here and click on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Maga... Maka, Makahaga Catello. Um, shout out to them again, because they... Um, I, I, I thanked Max and he goes, oh, don't um, don't thank me. Makahaga warped onto your gate camp while drunk in a Phoenix Navy issue. That's what started that. And I was like, well, thank, thank him for me then or whatever. Um, and so we, uh, he, he said that there was going to be more dreads and there was going to be more escalation. So like it's all, all fun. Like, um, And I was like, okay. He says, well, next time. We'll do next time. So next time, which was very quickly afterwards. Um, I uh, started the Amazon gate camp. We caught a coercer, a miasmos. Wait, no, this is not it. Sorry. We caught a punisher, an osprey, some ibises, and then shit started to go crazy. EF, right here, as you can see, comes. he comes in with NATOs. He's harassing us. He killed some of our lodgy. He killed, like, he would come in and blow up a logic, come and go leave. And he made the Lodgy. brilliant strategic decision. He said, or I, I, I said, I'm going to switch to a boosher. So I switched to a Bifrost. I told everybody to ball up on me. And the next time his tornadoes come, I'm going to boosh this onto the tornadoes. <laughs> and uh, we did. And I don't recall... I don't think we caught the first, them. The first, first time, time we didn't catch anything, but the second time he came back with practices for some reason. He came back with smart bombing, pra a fleet oh, of yes. smart bombing practices. Because he was going to protect his people by... He was going to smart bomb us with, with when we when we boosh on him to the second time, but not, that didn't happen. But Instead, we landed 14 kilometers away, so we were able to be like... Murdering. Whatever, we killed, man. Murder. We, we, caught, we caught two of the... Um, smart bombing practices we killed two of them we caught a nato um but it was just a lot of fun you go back and forth and then i don't know who this no it's still amazon prime so so they started logging people on i think yeah. um because we also caught a hyperion um and that was a that was a, a fun little fight there yeah 57 uh, or 574 million is uh, i did not expect the hyperion's reps to break so quickly <laughs> yeah and um, so we did get the Hyperion. Actually, I'm look at that again real quick. Oh, it dropped a little bit. Yeah, what was this thing. drop? Oh, shit, there was a Dark Blood Armor Repair. Well, actually, I don't know as if we were able to loot the field on, on those fights. Because all of a sudden now we have a ton more where the tornadoes are back and all these griffins start coming in i'm just like free fire on the griffins free fire on the griffins and we killed a bunch of griffins but then um let me see if i can find it really quick i'm gonna try to open this without uh oh it's over here uh yeah, i'm not sure i can't remember how we killed that hyperion like what yeah we just murdered it we like it was just on there. top of it didn't we Oh, yeah, I may, I may have boosted us to it. I mean, uh, one way to... Uh, let me see, if was I still in a boosher? Yeah, I was still in the Bifrost. So, yeah, we boost, I boosted us onto it, probably. Um, oh, yeah, this... This, ridicu this ridiculousness here... Let's see if I can open it over here or not. No, it doesn't work that way. Sorry, one second. This over here. Can you see that on the screen or no? Uh, no I only see the Z kill. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not showing. Hold on. I'm just trying to figure this out here. Um, how to show this image. If I... What does open link do? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Yep. So then he undocks 
all the nags and phoenix navies and i was like yeah i don't think we're going to be able to form for that and i couldn't even see this thing uh on the field because it was i haven't added hadn't added lancer dreads to my <laughs> yeah you're my like bane yet. what are you talking about <laughs> i'm like well there's no fucking bane what's a bane i don't see anything <laughs> but um yeah, he basically just, you know, to kind of a show of force at the end, and he was like, yeah, no, we're not going to leave the station right now, but you know, thanks for playing kind of deal. <laughs> and I think after that, we just have... Well, me and you and Nightflyer went out, here. you know, yeah. and we killed a couple of little things here and there. Uh, did we get a Vexor Navy issue? No, no. Or yeah, I think that was uh, the Vexor Navy issue. We got that not too long after. Yeah, because Haha -ha came out with us. Yes, that's right. We started roaming in another little like squad, and Haha -ha was with us. But like, oh my god, it was late, and I was so tired. So we like, after after the fight where I lost my stabber, I was like, yeah, I, I want to go to bed. <laughs> so I've been going for so long. And then this morning we had a fun little crash of mining up from a ping that was... Oh yeah, first. yeah, we crashed a mining up. That was kind of interesting. We'll see. But yeah, that, 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 that about wraps that up, I think, as far as the kill board is concerned. But yeah, yeah overall, we got these um, these two dreads here from that Amazon gate camp. These two guys here, these really expensive Legion and Zarmazad from the... Um, incursion fob fight um this akater from the abazon gate camp and this proteus was uh from that mining op that we crashed earlier today he was a protector that came in to save the mining. yeah that was a good catch um so i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap things on up here though is there anything else that you guys wanted to talk about anything that uh any other news that comes in from the uh the last week or two uh no, I'm just. I need a rest, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna. Yeah, it's been for a week. It's been a lot of, a lot of fleets. Um, so I think like seven or eight different fleets. Yeah. Oh, I, I do want to point this out because I'm a narcissistic asshole. Um, I am the the top of the kill board, and Frozen as well. We're both like, uh, on 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 our alliance network, 164 kills and 111 kills. <laughs> <laughs> well, even a yeah, and Mango's even in the top ten for so all three of us are in the yeah, top ten for the, the network yeah. uh, killing yeah. this week. But murder, uh, murder. Yeah. yeah, come on out. We'll, time, though. we'll, we'll help you. We'll help you learn how to get out here and murder with us. Um, and I think I think I, I really like playing around with EF and Amazon, and I think he likes uh, Max likes playing around with me because. I will engage. It keeps it in, in, interesting. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just going to run away. I, I, I mean, I'm going to laugh when he brings out a dozen dreads. I'm like, I, yeah, bro, what what am I going to fucking do? I can't do anything at that point. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, 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 I want to provide content for those um, in my fleet, you know, as much as possible. And it's, it's just it was fun. Cool, yeah, so we will have more Amazon gate camps that are going to be going on. Check out Spectre Fleet. Um, it's Spectre dot uh, fleet, isn't it? It's... Oh, I'll get it for you right now. Spectre dash fleet dot space. Spectre dash fleet dot space. Check that out. Uh, Me and Samson will both be having uh In fact, actually, I have well, a... Well, it... So Frozen Fallout is, is the next fleet. But Gwenevic Kenyon doesn't have any up right now, but she will soon enough, I promise. Yeah, check that out. It's always great. Uh, there's a lot of spur of the moment ones that kind of happen as well. I suggest checking yeah, out like their that Discord. Last, that last Amazon gate camp was a spur of the moment, and we still got enough numbers to have fun. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The spur of the moment still get good stuff going. Uh, things are usually planned out more in the EU time zone, but me and Gwenevic have been doing a lot of EU time zones, and there are some u.s time zones um operations that definitely happen out there so check out uh specter tack fleet dot space very cool very cool um 
Also, we are going to be going, uh, or we're going to be hosting one of the coolest events in all of. Whoa, that is, that's a large. <laughs> that's so. large. My my entire screen on this side just went gray. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that? Frozen. You tried to kill me. So there we are. Um, we've got this uh, beautiful poster that uh, Samson created for us. And uh, the basis of it is that it's EVE Online Mad Town Meetup. Saturday, May 4th, 2024. May the 4th be with us when it comes to this, uh, this meetup that we're doing here. Starts at 5 p.m. We'll go to about midnight. We're going to be hanging out at the IO Arcade Bar, and um, one of the big things that uh, you know we're going to be doing is just kind of hanging out, playing a bunch of old school arcade bar games. Um, there's pizza, there's um, drinks, and old school arcade games for everybody to kind of hang out, chill. Um, and they have really good food options too. Not like the pizza; they have regular pizza and vegan pizza, and and everything in between. Yeah, the, the pizza's really solid, actually. Um, it's not like, you know, um, you know, Domino's or anything for the, 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 the... Which is, I think it's better than Domino's, actually. But, the, uh, but in any case, it's great. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get a Discord up and running. We're going to see if we have to, like, maybe not sell, like, tickets as in, like, need to pay money to come. But, like, just have, like, you know, a free ticket for people to purchase... Or not get purchase or get to get a head count, you know. But we'll see. I think the Discord will be really telling whether or not uh, how many people are going to be coming. If we, I want to kind of feel it out and see if we can get like over twenty and stuff like that. I'm going to start looking for hotel deals and stuff like that for people. Um, so I'm going to try looking into that a little bit more. I have some ins inside of the the hotel industry that I might be able to get some uh, discounts for some people out there. Um, right now, we're just saying, you know, any downtown hotel is uh, a good yeah, hotel to get up. Anything around the capital is is really great to to get a hotel around um, and check your you know budget and stuff like that. But we don't have anything specifically rented out. I don't think there's any major events that are going on, from my knowledge. Um, it's our major event, frozen. It's our major event that's happening. Um, it is May the fourth. Um, but I don't think it's not, that's not like a true huge holiday. Uh, but if we do have like over 20 people, I, I will need to make sure that we let uh, IO know. I'm going to let them know, I think, regardless. I'm going to be calling them up here pretty soon. But because we do seem like we have at least like, I feel like there's like seven or eight people that I've talked to that are like, I want to be coming to this. So I know that you two are going to be coming. So yeah, um, Alec will be coming and um trying to think of uh there's some other people from network that said that they might be coming yeah some people and yeah and, and maybe a couple other people new people too hopefully we'll see how oh we also got a uh, shout out to talking on stations they talked about our uh our event here so that was uh, really cool, and uh, we look yeah. So that'll probably get us some more people, more too. interest, you know. And we are published out onto the like the, the the Discord site that has a listing of all the major events that are for the meetups and stuff. So come on on out. Um, you know, we're gonna be hanging out at the arcade bar, and uh, we're hoping to get probably about my my hope is for about like fifteen twenty people to kind of show up, and. Uh, um, we also might be doing some stuff depending on you know using the discord and stuff we might do some unofficial meetups on like friday night and saturday morning if people are around um because i know uh samson's gonna be in on friday night so we might do some stuff on friday um night player you're just coming up on saturday right no i'll probably actually come up maybe even on like Thursday night, it depends. It depends if I got to pick up people at the airport. Uh, I know a couple of people said they were gonna fly in to either O'Hare or Milwaukee, and since neither one of those is too far from me, so I may help them uh, provide taxi service. Oh, cool! Mm -hmm. That's awesome. 
So yeah, we might do some unofficial, like, Friday night. Like, I didn't want to have it on the poster specifically. Like, this is the main event for it. Um, but I kind of want to spread it out and have, like, it's basically a weekend event where it's going to be, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, you know, Sunday morning we'll probably go out for coffee and, and hit up, uh, I, I, I want to hit up uh, one of the, the famous, uh, um, not Mother Fools, it's, uh, there's a breakfast shop that we have here and for some reason my brain is escaping me but um i'll detail it all out later there's a breakfast nook that's just really crazy in madison it's really good so we might do something on that friday night we might go out to the bars uh we might hit up a different arcade bar that's kind of interesting um and check out some other kind of stuff so oh there might be some activities we might hit up some of the restaurants that are super cool so in any case, though, we'll go ahead and wrap this on up here. Um, definitely, also, you know, we, we're part of the network, so check out uh, Declarations of War uh, podcast. It's super cool. Um, we'll get links in our uh, description for that as well. Um, Alec has been running that, and uh, Noir, the, one of the oldest or the oldest, like, uh, mercenary organization in New Eden, uh, runs a podcast and goes over all different types of stuff, but by the the name you can tell that it centers around killing shit usually. So um, check that podcast on out. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming on and uh, co-hosting with me. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm sure. Oh, it was a pleasure. Good night, everybody. Always have a good night, New Eden. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Fly dangerously. That's, yeah, no. Wait, we've got to figure out a catchphrase for our <laughs> closing. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good one.